Welcome. In this video, we're going to look at the history of JavaScript and how it has evolved over time. JavaScript was written in 10 days by Brendan Ike in 1995. He was working at Netscape at the time and faced pressure to implement Java, the hot programming language of the time, into the browser. He instead created an easier to use programming language he called Mocha that still brought greater functionality to the browser than it had previously. All in the same year, the name of the language was changed from Mocha to LiveScript to JavaScript. JavaScript was not a fork of Java, although the name JavaScript was chosen on purpose to piggyback on the success of Java at the time, which involved getting trademark permissions from Sun Microsystems, who owned the Java trademark. Microsoft also released a pretty much exact same version of JavaScript and called it JScript to avoid having to deal with the Sun licensing conditions. Out of fear of one group taking over the language, JavaScript was brought to the ECMA Standards Group in 1996 to create an official standard for the language that everyone could follow. The ECMA Group trademarks the name ECMAScript to refer to the standards for the language. We also see the development of TC39, which is the ECMA Standards Group that works specifically with ECMAScript. JavaScript, JScript, ActionScript and others are all implementations of this standard in various ways. So, we have ECMAScript 1 or ES1 come out in 1997, followed quickly by ES2 in 1998 and ES3 in 1999. Then, we don't have another release for more than 10 years and it's called ES5. So, what happened to ES4 and all the momentum it had at the beginning? Well, first of all, Netscape folds not too much longer after this, and Internet Explorer takes over as the primary browser with its own version of JavaScript. There is some time before we get folks like Mozilla and Firefox who brings everyone back to the table to start talking about a next implementation, again in part trying to prevent one group from taking over the direction of the language. However, the problem at this time is that various groups like Microsoft, Yahoo, Mozilla, Opera, and Adobe wanted different things from ECMAScript to implement in their own versions of the standard. It broke down into two camps. One that was pushing for ES3.1 with small changes to the language, and another that was pushing for ES4 with some major changes that we are just seeing implemented today. Ultimately though, there is no ES3.1 or ES4 releases, and the next version is called ES5 and comes out in 2009. They also started something called Harmony that year, which is a list of potential future additions to the language that they can pull from in future releases. During that time though, between 1999 and 2009, we see some amazing innovations on JavaScript outside of the standards committee. In 2005, the term Ajax is coined, and this sparks a revolution in how communication with the server is done from the front end using JavaScript. We also see the heyday of JavaScript frameworks like Prototype, jQuery, Dojo, and MooTools that addressed many of the cross-browser issues that existed as well as made programming more complex JavaScript a lot easier for non-classically trained developers. In 2009, when ES5 comes out, we also see the release of Node.js and the ability to write full applications in JavaScript and leverage server connections designed for JavaScript and built for speed. We also see the creation of NPM, Node Package Manager, for distributing and installing modules or reusable bits of code in libraries. We also see CoffeeScript in 2009, which aimed to make JavaScript simpler and more literal to write borrowing from conventions in Ruby and Python. What is interesting about this is that we later see features of CoffeeScript implemented into ECMAScript. The next version of ECMAScript comes out in 2015, and we see a lot of evolution in the use of and demand for JavaScript during that time. By 2015, JavaScript is one of the most in-demand programming languages. In 2015, the ECMAScript committee also switches to a yearly release schedule where they would release any new Harmony features they could agree upon in that year's release. 
Hence, you will commonly see reference to ES6 as ES2015 and ES7 as 2016, etc. This continual and gradual release of features is similar to the direction both HTML and CSS have gone. ECMAScript and JavaScript will continue to evolve in the coming years, but this gives us a little helpful history about the origins of the language. Now that we've covered a bit about the history, let's go ahead and learn how to actually write some JavaScript by covering the JavaScript language basics.